Okay, so now we are, we are at uh, part B of experiment number three. Um, you will notice on the table there's an air track that um, is similar to the air tracks that we used in experiment number one, except that the air track is now flat and level on the table. It's not um, inclined at an angle. When we studied linear accelerated motion of a glider that accelerates down an inclined air track, this um, uh, air track is flat and level. And you'll notice that the glider, this time, is attached, physically attached, to both ends of the air tracks with these springs. There's two springs here. Okay. Now, the reason we actually want uh, the air track to be attached um, to the glider, to, uh, sorry, uh, the glider attached to the air track by, uh, with springs, is when we displace the glider on the restriction of the air track by a certain amount and we release it, you will notice that we have oscillatory motion. One spring will be compressed and the other spring will be um, a, a, a stress. Okay, now I turned off the air supply so you can uh, actually hear me a little bit better, but um, what happens is this, the amplitudes decrease with time. Now, this is supposed to be a frictionless air track, but in this experiment we're going to be studying uh, something called damped oscillations. Damped oscillations are oscillations where the amplitude decreases um, in, in size um, with time. Um, so it doesn't look like a sinusoidal wave, okay? It will actually decrease with time. And why? Because there's friction. Now, if this is a frictionless air track, uh, where would the friction come from? Well, if you look very closely, our glider has magnets attached to it. And these magnets will actually produce uh, resistance in motion of the glider. So every time an oscillation takes place, um, the amplitude of that oscillation will get less and less and less because of the frictional forces that um, um, don't want um, to have the glider move. So, um, so notice the presence of these uh, magnets here. Um, well, the, the presence of these magnets will actually produce um, the friction that is necessary to um, um, create the damped oscillations that we see. So, how uh, are you going to perform this experiment and um, measure um, how much um, of damping takes place? Well, again, you're going to use a computer. We click on this um, data acquisition system called a uh, program called uh, Logger Pro. And we click on File and open a template file called Oscillations. You'll notice that um, the zero axis is through the center of the graph. And there's positive space, uh, uh, numbers above the, the zero axis and, and below. So you can actually display an oscillatory motion here. Now, if um, we have damped oscillations, the amplitudes will get smaller with time. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to turn on the air supply. Like this. And I'll turn it off just momentarily so I can continue to explain. And um, when the air supply is actually uh, turned on and the glider is at rest, being pulled by equally um, by equal amount of force by the two springs on either side, the glider will not be moving unless it's displaced, right? So, again, we're, we are going to be using a sound probe, this sound probe here, to let us know what the position of the glider is at any moment in time. Now, before we actually um, begin the experiment, we have to set this distance of the glider from the sound probe to be equal to zero. So, what um, you are asked to do in the lab manual is click on experiment, and then click on this option that says zero. Now, if you listen carefully, you hear some little audible um, uh, sound pulses that are uh, produced by the sound probe. They reflect off the metal plate here, and they come back to the sound probe. 
And now this distance between the sound probe and the metal plate on top of the glider has been set to zero. So that will be our starting point. Once we've done that, we will turn on the air supply again, displace the glider by a, a certain amount, okay? Um, and this amount uh, may or may not uh, be um, uh, important, okay? This is something that you'll be able to determine, uh, determine in, in, the, in the lab. So, uh, and then when I release it, I click on collect, and in real time, in near real time, you will actually see how the oscillations decrease with time. So, um, I'm not going to do much talking right now because I'm going to turn on the air supply, displace the glider, and uh, wait about um, 20 seconds for, for this um, experiment to finish. Because we have to wrap up really quick, what I'm going to uh, uh, point out is that uh, the oscillations, the amplitudes of the oscillations decrease not linearly but exponentially and in this uh, uh, lab experiment you are going to be able to find out why. So we'll leave it uh, here for now.